All right, Justin, I'm getting ready to put a file up on uh, Maker World. I'm going to show you how I do it. I upload my pictures on my... you got to take a picture of whatever you're... Like this right here. See how it's in my Facebook. i got to put... I take pictures with my phone, so I upload them to my Facebook on my phone, but then I come here and I grab them. Um, let me refresh this. They're not here yet. There we go. That's a razor blade. Um, I don't know if I'll post these. These are generic. I made these in an app, and I don't know if it's corny or not, but here's what I do. I got folders, D Doug's Lights and Con see all these, and then I add new folder, and then I'm going to add razor blade. I'm making a new folder now. Double click it. Okay, there goes my first pick in. Now, go to my second pick. Save image as, and now that'll be there. This part's easy now. Save image as. I only did a few picks. Sometimes I do more, but and you want to make sure they look real, that you, they can tell that they were 3D printed. That's why I always leave an ugly one like this in there. Okay, so that's all the pictures I got. I wish I didn't have all these tabs open up here. But Okay, now to bamboo. We just got through printing the file. Now here's what you got to do in bamboo. I printed it with my P1S printer, right? Yours is going to say A1, but you need to change that the same as I do to X1 right here. And then, see mine says, I, ch I don't know that I got to change this from Galaxy to Basic, but I just go down here and click Bamboo Basic on it just to make sure. But yours should all say, well, yours is probably going to say Sun Lu or something, or maybe even generic. Make sure they all say Bamboo PLA Basic. Make sure this is X1, because it has to be that way for the file to go up on Maker World. It's kind of hard to explain why. But then you want to slice. See, slice OK. And then you go to your file, export, export 3MF right here. And then you're going to go find that folder. That's why I got, they're all right there, every one of mine. See all these? These are all my Maker World files. And I got it to where date modified, it's always right at the top. See? Looks like nothing's in there. The pictures are in there, but a 3MF isn't. Keychain or necklace. Um, doesn't matter what it says. Save. Okay, so we're done here. I just minimize it. And then now we got to go to Maker World. And now you'll go to Upload. It's your original. It's not a remix. Just click original. Yes, you want to earn points. Then here's where you'll drop your file. And you got to go find that folder again. That's why it helps. You know, I've done this so many times, I know right where everything is. And I shouldn't have went that quick. I just went to the folder and got that 3MF file right here. That's all I did. Now, the first page is easy. And you just click. Because you'll wonder about this drag your files here. I don't never drag anything there. Next step. Now it wants some pictures. So I'm going to just put. It, it's hard for me. I don't like these generic pictures. So I'm thinking about just putting this picture. Um, and just leave it to their imagination. It says this one is prioritized in the app. I just go ahead and throw a picture in there like 
this one here, I, I don't mind putting something generic. Uh, I call it generic. Now, add photo. So uh, what I do is I click the first one, hold shift, click the last one, click open, and then they'll all go in there. Okay, so they're all in there. This is the one that's going to be showing. This first one, that's the one that will be showing out front. Model name. Razor Blade uh, Key Chain or Necklace. I, and I usually put an exclamation point. And then category, that's the hard one, where you always got to figure out what's this match. Because none of them really, like right here, earrings, jewelry. Jewelry would work, because if it's a, you know, if it's a necklace, then jewelry would work. But it's it could be a key ring, too, so... Uh, household, miniatures, see, they don't really got very good... Key ring is kind of an organizer, so I don't think it really matters what you put it in. Now, here's where you want to get creative. Tags. Razor. Razor blade. Necklace. Key ring. Key chain. Organizer, then I put X1, A1, oh, X1, I didn't hit enter, and A1, um, jewelry, jewelry, um, I usually put something like fidget, uh, clothing, I mean, just, I don't know, I just try to think up anything, holder, fun, uh, you see, we got keychain, necklace, I'm gonna put earrings even because if they could, they could, uh, they could um, scale them down and wear them as an earring. Okay, now your license. Always leave these at no as long as it's yours. If it ain't yours, if you're sharing a remix, then you've got to. You've got to check some of these over here. We'll get into the license later. But when it's your file, you'll leave all these as no. Now, tell everybody about your model. Made from a... Made in... Tinkercad. Three millimeters thick. Uh, let me let me fill this thing. Shit. It's it's fell off somewhere. Oh, there it is. Or did, is that four millimeters stick? I might have went four millimeters on this. And look, here's a way you can tell if you forget. Go back to bamboo and click on this. You'll need to be in prepare. Always go to scale three. See right there? Three millimeter. Okay, go back. Three millimeter stick can be used as a keychain or necklace. Maybe even earrings. Scale. Them up or down. Hope you like.
And sometimes I'll put the uh, the size of it, which Tinkercad, see if it's telling me I had a mistake. Forgot to see. Uh, dimensions. I like putting dimensions sometimes because people, they've given me four stars. 50, 25, 3. 50, 25, 3. 50 millimeters by 25 millimeters by 3 millimeters. Because they go, oh, that that thing is way too small. I'm like, uh, I listed the dimensions. Seem too big for me. Okay, now you can't join. See right here. It seems you have a model as two D, um, so you can't join the exclusive model program right here. It says that you can get your points taken and stuff. So. Yeah, these kinds of things is considered a 2D model. And uh, so I don't put it in the exclusive. Okay, I'm just looking at it. Right here, would you like to add non-3D printed parts? No. Okay, add print profile. The first thing I do is I cut this line. I cut it. Cut. And then I'll put the name of that again. Razor blade keychain or necklace. And then more pictures. And this is the one they're really picky about. Wanting a picture of the real printed item. So the real printed one that you can absolutely tell, I drag it to the second spot right there. I mean, they can see the print marks on all these, but people get their stuff taken down all the time because of this. Okay, so I'm, now I paste that deal. And I put no supports needed. Then I'll put scalable color change color change yes it means they can change the color now you got see this is why we went and checked x1 carbon see this it checks the compatibility for all these printers automatically. If you would have left yours on A1, it would only say A1. It wouldn't say all these other printers. That's why we changed that. Now you just say it passed the print test. I'll make them one quick think. I've got everything. The pictures. I've got them the way I want them. Publish. There we go. That's all you do, and now it'll be in verifying right here for a little bit. It can take anywhere from 20 seconds to 5 minutes I've seen it take. I've seen it not ever go, and I have to redo it again. If you mess up over on your making your 3MF, when I first started, see this is where I got the razor blade at. I grabbed it out of here and then I uh, took it into Tinkercad, which maybe I can show you while we're waiting. Oh, look, I made this one. Look, that's cut in there. Love hurts. I'm going to be posting this one, too. That's embossed. Can you see it's cut into there? I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to put that one up there, too. Well, I'm considering it. They might consider this like a suicide thing or something. 
it might violate rules so I'm not positive I'm gonna put it up there but yeah I made this after I made the other one so anyways all these tabs up here kind of get you confused after a while I should shut a bunch out and Yeah, I just I just get my own pictures and then uh That's a whole nother lesson there. Okay, bud. Well, I'm going to cut this video off here in a minute. And I'm going to show you now. We'll hit verifying. See it says 0 and look there's a 1 right here. That's saying whether it went through or not. Bam, now published. And there it is. And then you go right here to my uploads. And there it is. Razor blade keychain or necklace. So, so that's how you list a, a deal. And now you just hope you, you'll have things look like these. Look, you think these are good. I don't have any downloads yet. This one's only been up here today only. These have been here since yesterday. But look, that one, it's got eight, which it could have more than that. The number isn't always right. So I'll cut this video off, put it on YouTube, um, so I can send you the link when you're ready to uh, print that deal. Remember, after you print it, you'll just change your... Uh, this right here to X1 Carbon. Make sure these say Bamboo PLA Basic. And um, slice it and then export it. Get you a folder going over there in your Explorer. Um, And then just you'll start making a list off that folder. You just add a new folder every time. It's pretty simple, but I'll shut up. I'll get this posted. You'll look at it when it's time, when you feel like messing with it. And if you need help, you know, I can always come over and help you. I'm going to hit F12 on my program. I'm just going to quit. We'll talk to you later. Good luck to you.